All right, so we're just going right now to go see um, the movie. Please subscribe. We're late, like always. Or if you want to cool off a little, take your coat off. What kind of perfect do you want? My name is Craig. Uh, my channel is Wheezy Waiter. Uh, it is a comedy channel. Me doing crazy, stupid things in my apartment. Oh, I gotta pee so bad. She has to go pee so I bad. I in the potty. <laughs> How bad do you have to pee? <laughs> to go so bad. Oh man. It makes me have antsy feet. I'm thirsty. I have antsy feet. Anyways, we just went and saw the movie. It's amazing. It was good. Dan did an amazing job. Good documentary. You guys should go see it when it comes out. When is it coming out on like tape? Yep, on VH1. -track. VH -track. It's gonna actually be on VH1 <laughs> behind the music. Is it like gonna be on YouTube or uh, iTunes? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where he's gonna release it now. I just saw it at the theaters. I've seen it twice now. So it was a one night only they were gonna show it in theaters all over the country. Like they showed it at the Pine Ridge Mall where I used to go and watch movies in first when I was in first grade, I remember going to that place in Idaho. You guys listen, we're finally getting something done that we've been trying to do for the last what? Year. <laughs> Year. We have all this stuff that we want to give away to somebody that might need an old broken pair of sunglasses or a Barbie doll that only has one arm. We can't fit out, we'll find a donation center ever, anywhere, wherever you were, or anything like that. And I just looked it up on my phone and it said there was one there, and like always, oh, it's gone. And then we're driving down the road and I see this little sign that says, hey, you want to get rid of your old stuff and maybe somebody wants it? Right here. Got rid of a lot of my clothes. Good. I still have clothes that I've worn for like, I have t-shirts that I've worn for like 10 or 12 years. Is that weird? I have socks. Well, I don't know about that. That's, that, that's too hard to trace. Socks. socks. I hope it's not one of those places where they go through and say, yeah, we don't want this. So they just inform me they don't take clothes. Or, oh, really? No, they don't take toys. Oh, but just I'm going to throw them in their dumpster anyway. Oh, no. So, say goodbye guys. So what happens. Remember there. when Christmas comes, you had to get rid of old toys to get new old toys. I got oh, rid yes. of all my toys. All of your toys were chewed up from Capri, huh? I threw away naked Barbies. You did! <laughs> did you throw away naked Barbies? Uh, yeah. <laughs> You're silly. Okay, turn around and get your that seatbelt off. We're going candy to Target. Candy. It's like my favorite thing in the world, like getting rid of stuff. Really? So like dunk. I love throwing stuff. I feel like you're a little garbage. bit of a hoarder. Me? Yeah. I find, I'll, don't tell the kids this, but I'll find toys. If I find them like three or four times on the floor, I just throw them away. And Ooh, it makes me feel so that good. That makes I me think, so mad at you. Because it makes me think, I will never have to pick that toy up again. You. I give it three times. You're naughty. Three times, gone. Can you guys see that Dalmatian? I don't think I've ever seen a Dalmatian in real life. Have you, honey? Yeah, my Very grandpa good. had my grandpa Lavier had a Dalmatian when we were really on. yeah he had, let's see he, here it is oh that's so pretty he was uh, obsessed with Dalmatians I guess I don't I just remember he always had Dalmatians or he had one before he died but uh, my mom told me he really had like Dalmatians and he had this really specific one he had did you guys always associate Dalmatians with firemen yeah because I did why is that because they're usually in like cartoons with the fireman at what? the firehouse. Name one cartoon where there's a Dalmatian at the fire. Name one Dalmatian, or one cartoon that's about a I feel like they're in pictures like that are drawn of firefighters at the Maybe fire that's station. Why. That's interesting about your grandpa. Why? I don't know, I just didn't know I know, that. He, was a, he was kind of a rancher. Yeah, he was just farmer, a farmer. And uh, that's not a typical like ranch dog. but That's really cool. We should get one. I can't remember what his name was. I want to say Jake, but... Are you sure it wasn't Pongo? That's every grandpa's dog's name. Jake. Mm, I Feed Jake. I don't He's think so. He's been a good dog. My pet. If you think, like, if you were to think of, like, an old classic dog that you've heard stories about, you would think the name Jake. No, I Wait, wouldn't. tell me where to go, by the way? What do you think of? Casper. Casper? Or Rosita. I've never heard a dog named Casper or My Rosita. My grandpa had a dog named Casper I'm and Rosita. Stuff up now. No, I'm not. He had a dog named Jake. Every no. grandpa did. You know Rosie? why he named him Rosita? Why? He named him after the tortillas that he took the herders. Because that's what he takes the, the herders or Rosita. I think I that what? the herders make the tortillas oh, and they yeah. give them to my grandpa. Thanks for the help, Gage. Thanks for the help. Are you going to help or just sit there and breathe really heavy?
Thanks, bro. Thanks for your help. Guys, I'm just telling you right now, Target is a really good place to buy groceries, as a matter of fact, huh, honey? It is a matter it's of cheap. fact. Definitely cheaper than Albertsons. Then we always go We've there. only spent like an, a year and a half shopping at Albertsons. Thanks. Thank you. Look at that. It's a crawdad. Oh, he left. Where did he go? Oh, he's right there. Why he's hiding. Like, pet crawdad. These tiny catfish. Isn't that catfish? It, that's what it says. That's a lie. Isn't Corey. that so weird? Because they're so small. So we came to buy Bronx some food and we got hung up on the amphibians. Is it fish and amphibian? They're bala sharks. Oh, they're separated from the smaller ones so they won't eat them. But look at this one. What is that? Oh, man. It has to be all over. It's a scary like, one. He likes YouTube. You need to see the side of it. Do you like YouTube? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> he looks the camera. These ones are like, zebras. Look at me. You should start a vlog, bro. Oh. So we're just sitting here, just in the tank. Hey, watching these are zebras. Look at those turquoise oh, ones. Yeah. Those were my favorite when I was a kid. That blue one right there. That's so pretty. I've never seen a bird like that. You've never seen one of those? No. Are you being serious? I'm being serious. You're lying. No, I'm not. Have you ever seen a parakeet like that? Yeah. But you've never <laughs> seen one like that? No, that's so pretty. Me and Shay used to get those when we were kids, and I would always want to get the blue one. I remember I had a couple like of those blue ones. I was like a turquoise one. I, like I always that. wanted these, those, these little, like, peach face, whatever they were. And my mom would never got, get, let me have one. And then my mom got some, and they were annoying when you slept <laughs> in the same room with them. No what is that? Chinchilla? It's a chinchilla. Oh, chinchilla. You can't hear me through that glass. But he's the weirdest looking animal that I've ever seen. I was just looking like this. Look at him. Oh, that's so handsome. It's like a rabbit almost. It looks like a possum. No. Oh, man. I don't understand why they're called <laughs> guinea pigs. Because they're ugly. <laughs> is it funny? <laughs> That's a good time, huh? Chinchillas in a wheel. That's all he needs. <laughs> cats are evil. I seriously believe cats are evil. Every cat that I've ever given any love to has turned around and freaking stabbed me in the back. Carly had a cat when we were little. I can't remember what its name was. I probably talked about this. It was a white cat, and I didn't like it. But then I started thinking, oh, it's a pretty cat. And you'd lay by it. And he'd lay by you and you'd pet its back and he'd purr and purr and all of a sudden he'd just get up and freak out. And one time he got out and freaked out and like scratched my face. I don't trust cats. Do you know that when I was little we found baby kitties in a barn and I raised it with a bottle? That, that's a lie. She, she didn't really have them. She does not have that big of a heart. It looked like a little mouse. Just a little kitty. So Kaylee raised mice when she was young. No, I didn't. You're such a sweet, sweet, special person. I was a good mom. I won't tell you everything I had to do for that little kitty, but it was gross. Are you going to make Bronx a necklace? We're going to make him in a dog tag. It's on his collar. Cute. How cute. Okay. Putting your... Bronx. Bronxy. You should put my name on there. Casey. Oh, what kind of style do we want? I like want? that one, please. The back. Okay. Okay, we're gonna put Kaylee's phone number, which is 301-429-6424. Crap, guys, don't, don't. I wasn't supposed to say that on, shoot, on camera. Don't call it, and don't post it in the comments, that number. Crap. All right. Oh, insert it, too. All right, there, you think? Yeah. You sure? Yes. Is that the front? Yeah. Oh, he took open Yep. That? Never in doubt, just watch a video that explains exactly how to do it. Watch how insane this is. This is laser engraving. Okay. Then take it to us. Wow, look at that. It's yeah. awesome. There it is. Bronxy. Can I love it? Uh -huh.